Hey fellow world winners, it's Angry Tartu, and before we start this video, I want to send huge thanks to Lenny Liftovitz. That's my latest Patreon. I truly appreciate all your help and all other Patreons that are already there. I'm truly grateful from, for your financial support. And now, topic of this video is flying. It's a flying school with Tartu. Then what you need to know. First, to start your flying adventure, you will need a jetpack. You need a jetpack that can be installed basically on almost any power armor. Exception is excavator. There is no jetpack for excavator. What else you need to know as well, at least for this moment, it can change with the wastelanders, but at least at this moment. In case of raider and ultraside power armor, jetpack can be installed on any power armor piece, not only on the torso. It's probably a bug, but it's here so long already that it's worth to mention that. And as you can see, I have my jetpack on my right arm, what allow me to use protocol torso in the same time. Next thing you should know, if you will be playing more with flying and if you have want to have fun, it's very important to reduce your usage of fusion cores. Power user will increase fusion core duration and that's very useful in case of flying because flying drains your fusion core extremely fast. You need to have either a lot of fusion core to waste or this perk and still a lot of fusion cores to waste. Now, normally if you just press a jetpack, you will do like extended jump, your AP will run out and you will drop back down. If you want to fly for longer, you need to just press jetpack for a little moment and keep pressing it and do like rabbit jumps. That allows you to extend the duration of the fly. And it's very useful on everyday usage, but you will not impress anyone by doing that. But what you can do to actually impress your friends if you play with others or randoms that you will encounter, you will need something that replenishes your AP over time. What I do recommend is honey. There is a very good reason for me to recommend the honey. As you can see, the honey provides you 60 AP over time. There is some disease chance, but that's not a problem. You can go to White Spring, to the fountain and cure the disease, or just use disease cure. The important part is 60 AP replenish over time. The honey never spoils, then you can store a lot of those. And it's easily accessible. If you don't know where to find the honey, the spots I can recommend, go to Mid Beckham over here. There is an event as well, when Beckham is active, there will be an event, but even if event is not active, there is a lot of honey around on the trees. And other spot, if you want to look in the forest, it will be somewhere like in a, here, next to Arnhorn Homestead, somewhere in this area. Okay, this out of the way, look what happened if you use just one honey. You eat honey before the flight. And now you can impress your friends. You hold the spacebar and you're gonna fly. The duration of the fly is limited anyway. And even though you can keep this jetpack up and running, you will fall after a while, start falling. And there is absolutely like nothing you can do about that. Now what else you need to know? As long as honey is active, you can keep jetpack up and running. But if you want to sprint, what means you want to fly fast, you will need more than one. You need exactly three honey to sprint and fly. One, two, three honey, then sprint and fly. So you can see I can fly. I can fly and I will drop after a while. See, I'm dropping now, even though my jetpack is still up and running. Then the fly duration is limited, but still the range of this jump is crazy and it doesn't require very good skill like if you spam it a little bit in those small portions sometimes you can mess up and you start falling a little bit too early or you press the button too late and you fall down like i did now but in the technique with the honey you burn a lot of your fusion core but you fly and fly and if you just want to jump on something that is high up you only need one honey. If you want to sprint far, you need three honey. One honey to go up. I'm too close. 
I'm almost there. Oh, too short. One honey. And fly. And now I'm up. Unfortunately, how high you can fly is limited. And as you see, after a while, you will fall down again. But truly, you will be able to impress your friends with this simple honey trick. And what's important, it's possible to do on consoles because uh, I know that Nuka Cola Quantum, some people are using it during the fly. And I heard it's impossible to use a Nuka Cola Quantum during the fly on console. I don't have a console, then I'm not sure. But honey, you just use before the fly. What makes it so much more powerful. Free honey, sprint, and fly. You can see that's a true flying. There is no stopping the jets. They up and running all the time. And hopefully this will impress your friends. I hope you guys enjoy that. And see you guys in the next one after Wastelanders.